Welcome to the Minesweeper Project on bbteacher.com. All right, we're working on the uh, cell view, um, the mind cell view uh, routine, and uh, we're ready to construct the graphics for drawing the flag. The flag occurs when the user wants to mark a cell as containing a mine without actually having to click it. You can right click the cell and turn it into a flag. Uh, this flag looks very much like the the button. It's actually drawn on a button background and so we can really save a lot of time by just copying the graphics routine for the button and pasting them down here under the flag. And that will give us, if we want to rebuild right now and take a look at it, which we can do, that will show us that the two are also identical. Uh, right click, um, let's go to the form one and go to the properties and here we see that the properties, if we switch it to a if we switch it to a view of flag, we get a button identical to the, the number is blank the mine is blank, and, but the button shows up the same as the flag. So the flag and the button are both drawing the same thing. Now we need to actually have a model and we're going to define some special points um, which we'll, we will then use to draw the, the rest of the flag. Uh, here's a little skeleton view of our, our flag or our model for our flag. Again we have the top left is minus one, minus one, and the bottom right is one, one. And uh, we have sketched in a flag shape, having a trapezoid base and a pole in the middle, and then a triangular flag shape. And we've named the points, pole top and pole bottom are where we'll draw our pole. And then we'll use pole top again, along with flag tip and flag bottom to draw our, um, to draw our triangular shape. And the base bottom left, base top left, base top right, base bottom right are the four corners of the trapezoid. So with these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points defined, um, we will specify those coordinates, and then we'll go back in and uh, and figure out where to. Or we'll we'll then use the, the draw polygon and draw lines to finish those up. So we're going to go back into the code area, and we're in the flag again. And so now here we have to specify some some of those special points and we'll do special points here, flag points. And so first thing we'll do is to um, dim the pole top as new point F. And if you look to see where it is on here, you can see that it's uh, the X coordinate is 0 and the Y coordinate is nearly negative 1. So we'll use um, 0, negative 0.7, which is close to negative 1. Dim pole bottom as new point F. And that'll also be on the X coordinate of 0. And then the Y coordinate will be down here about halfway between 0 and Y of 1, so 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 looks pretty good for this. Okay. Then we need to specify the flag tip tip as new point F. And let's see where the flag tip is located. The flag tip has an X. The X coordinate is nearly to negative 1. And we'll guess a little less than that. So we'll put in a flag tip of negative 0.7. And then the Y coordinate, let's see about where that flag tip is located. Uh, y coordinate of minus 1, here's 0, so it's between 0 and minus 1. So it's something like a negative 0.2 or 3, and let's just use a value of negative um, 0.3. Okay, now the next thing we'll do is the flag bottom as new point F. And let's look and see where the flag bottom is approximately. Flag bottom is at x equals 0 and a y of, here's a y of 0, here's a y of 1, so it's like 0, 2 or 3 tenths, positive 2 or 3 tenths, and we'll use 0 and we'll guess at it as 1 tenth. Now we need to specify the base coordinates, so dim the base left top as new point F, 
and the base left top is going to be top left, left top. Uh, that would be at about negative a half and negative a half, roughly. And we'll put it at uh, exactly that, negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. The y is down from the center. And dim base left bottom as new point f. And that will be left bottom will be a little further down, so it'll be at negative 0.7 and positive 0.7. Further down and further left. Dim the base uh, right top as new point f. And that will be on the opposite side, so we'll reverse the x. So it'll be 0.5 and 0.5. And dim the base bottom right as new point f. And that will we'll be using as, as a uh, 0.7, 0.7. So those points, if we've calculated them right, will allow us to, to, to draw these different uh, things on the screen. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to draw the pole, and we'll need a uh, we'll need a pin for that because we're going to use the line routine. So pole dim m pin as new uh, pin color brown or some such thing with a width of 0.1. And we'll draw the line, M pin, from the pole top to the pole bottom. And it wouldn't have mattered if we would have reversed those. And we've already used M pin up above here, so we will simply make that an M pin equals. And we can use the same new routine, and it will work just fine. So let's rebuild. And then take a look at our form and see if we have anything close to a, a line. There's a line on our form there. Looks pretty good. Let's go back into the cell and add the next piece. The next piece we'll use is the flag. And the flag will use a, uh, a fill polygon. We'll need a brush and we'll need to have some points. And so we'll need an array of points. So dim the flag points, empty parentheses mean this is an array as point F, so it's an array of points, floating point points, equals, and then we'll use the curly brackets, and we'll use the pole top, and the flag tip, and the flag bottom. If you want to refresh your memory, then those are the three corners. The pole top, the flag tip, and the flag bottom are the three points that we want to use there. Okay, So that is the uh, flag model again being used and uh, we need a curly bracket on the end. And flag top is not listed. Flag tip, excuse me. There we go. Next we need to dimension, uh, to do, declare a brush, so dim flag brush as new solid brush using the color red. And we'll draw a polygon, so fill polygon with the F brush using the F points. And we'll rebuild. Take a look at this. And take a look at the form. And there's our brown flagpole with a red flag on it. Uh, now this, the last piece here is fairly simple, and that's just to duplicate the triangle, except this time it's going to be a uh, trapezoid. So this is the base, and so we'll dim the base points as point F, and we'll use the coordinates that we have on the screen here. Um, we'll use the points curly bracket base um, left top base left bottom, base, right bottom, bottom right, base, top right, and curly bracket. Those are the points that we defined. F brush color equals color black. And then we'll do another fill polygon like the first except we have to change the arguments to 
B points uh, to F brush and B points for the base. And now we'll rebuild the project and take a look at it on the design. And there it is. So our flag is done. Let's take a look at the properties here. And then we see what we have. We can set this for the button or for the flag. And that's good so far. So thanks for programming along and on to the next piece.